Good if you don't have a home. Oh, wow. Good night. Today on X-Play, multiplayer mayhem with True Crime Streets of L.A. Bad pickup lines in Headhunter Redemption. I like a woman who's got balls. And the most Freudian RPG ever when we get dirty with Digital Devil Saga. I feel awkward. It's game time. Please welcome those people that host this show, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Balanced. Welcome to X-Play, the show that's been consistently underwhelming you since 2003. Today, however, prepare to be overwhelmed, or perhaps just whelmed enough, because we have one of the darkest, creepiest, and most adult-oriented RPGs Adam and I have ever seen. This week. We also have true crime with multiplayer for the PC. We have a headhunter sequel for the PS2 because some people just can't get enough dystopian future titles. And the really big news, a football game that could knock Madden out of the number one spot. Oh yeah, and it only costs 20 bucks. Aha, uh -huh. plus anime fans have something to cheer Yay. about in the Astro Boy game. Yay. Because since the cartoon first aired in 1963, everyone has been totally fine with a half-naked robot boy. But before we get to scantily clad robots and the game that's making EA Sports really nervous, we're going to take a look at true crime for the PC. I know what you're thinking. Didn't you guys review this already for the PS2? Yes, but the PS2 version didn't have multiplayer, and that's the big draw of true crime for the PC. Here's our review. True Crime Streets of LA was given a mature rating. Now, this is ironic because mature gamers are really going to have a hard time with a lot of control issues that should have been taken care of in this port to the PC. Nick Kang, that badge-slinging, gun-toting, perp-slugging lawman, hits the streets of an LA not even Randy Newman could love. Well, in that case, make it a bourbon. Screw you. Graphic detail is a little tighter, as you imagine. An expanded track list includes enough indie rock titles to keep the Viper Room crowd clutching cheap domestic beer as they cruise the crime-strewn streets of the game. One of the big draws of the game is, of course, the size and detail of your ride through the City of Angels. Major landmarks are well represented, but don't go looking for the site of your first kiss in Los Feliz. It's not there. Hey, look! It's the house that Big Head's built, the Staples Center. Don't be sad, Malone. A retirement watch is better than a silly old ring any day. As Kid King wades into the cacophonous calamity of a lewd and heavily armed Los Angeles, the game pays dividends to politically incorrect investors. You not listen? I burn your place! Blacks, whites, Hispanics, and Asians are all reduced to a hummingbird's hat-sized collection of MIDI phrases and cutscene antics. Oh, wow. Sound design overall is reflective of a lack of attention to technical oh, yeah. detail. The, way we do it. Yeah. the recycled cop show trash talk will wear on you after a while. And then there's this businesswoman who deters muggers by walking down the street muttering karate noises. Glitches appear in the worst spots. Take here, for example. I'm being shot, and I've taken the perspective of someone on the other side of the fence. No es bueno. What's the matter, Kang? Trapped in a buggy game? Ha! Ah, sucks to be you! Multiplayer was added like the Joe's Garage guy throwing in the magic tree car freshener after screwing you on a needless transmission. There's not much variety in the games you can play in multiplayer, and even with a relatively low ping and one other player, the game had poor performance. Driving cars had control issues. Using the keyboard keys, the car lurched heavily. When trying to use the mouse, it was too subtle both of which made driving through traffic extremely difficult. Maybe think about firing one piece at a time. Saves an arm. Christopher Walken adds minutes, voice work here along with some I mean? other celebs. Nah, Walken's voice is a trademark. Time. Hardly something you could imagine stuck in the mouth of this guy. That's what Viagra's for, sonny boy. There's just too many things that should have been technically addressed in True Crime Streets of LA for us to recommend its arrival for the PC. And there's no way I'm working with him. No, we can't either. We give it a two out of five. You make big mistake. So there's no one playing the multiplayer because the lag time blows. And when we give a game with multiplayer a lower score than the version of a game without it, there's a problem. Yes, there is. Up next, we have Digital Devil Saga. It's a Japanese RPG. Now, I usually hate those, but this one has some of the most disturbing images since that Punky Brewster marathon. Now, if you thought Picasso put people's mouths in some odd places, you haven't seen anything yet. 
Here's our preview of Digital Devil Saga. Hofuri, Kudai. Omae ta chi rengoku no shurana. Ue kara nogare ikinobiru sube wa hoka ni nai. Digital Devil Saga is a little different. It's an RPG, but your friends here are grown ups. Yes, I know, grown ups. And instead of woods and castles, it takes place in an isolated post apocalyptic section of the world known as the junkyard. It's moody, always raining, and everyone is trying to kill each other. Her hair looks a little too cheery for war, doesn't it? And her hair is... Huh. Now they encounter a strange pod, and it glows. Ooh. Then something bad happens. You turn into monsters! Evil, hideous beasts! You'll walk around as a human, but revert to demons for traditional turn-based RPG battles. Though you can turn your characters back into gun-toting humans for linkage attacks that are deadly to certain enemies. The art design and weird monsters are certainly a highlight of this game. This is not a cute and cuddly RPG. Ah, the touching story of a girl and her blob. Oh, the chickens are kind of, well, less than threatening. The cutscenes can be arresting and are so dark and well done, though you may not be fond of every member of your metamorphosized group. Surf looks okay, but at least he only has one mouth to feed. And there's this guy. How does he see? The girl in the group has teeth in some unlikely places. Ooh, she breathes from there too. Just because your breasts turned into mouths doesn't mean you have to hide your hideous form. This zebra really freaks me out. Oh, he has arms under there. Tiny, carny arms. Ooh, there's one last cool thing. Sometimes the game will require you to choose between two options, such as which rival faction in this crazy, mixed up world you want to approach next. This is a guarantee for a branching story with multiple endings. Any RPG fan can get behind that. Mate, Jinana. So there are more random battles that you can shake a stick at, and you won't go far without running into one. And really amazing, bizarre cutscenes. If you've been waiting for a traditional RPG with a dark twist, check back this winter for our devilish digital review of Digital Devil Saga. I just love the way he stands. Okay, you know the last time we generalized and said that the Japanese were crazy? We got angry letters from the fans. You can send your apologies for those letters to g4.tv.com slash xplay. And if, for some reason, women with teeth in their boobs seem totally normal to you, well, just keep watching, because later we have a naked robot boy who also comes from Japan. Are you starting to see a trend here? Maybe. Mm. Up next, ESPN NFL 2K5 gives fans of 3D cleavage something to cheer about. Parts, parts, give me more parts. At AutoZone, I can find the right part. Parts, parts, give me tailgate, engine, piston, bumper. At AutoZone, gonna get the right part. Now AutoZone has over 750,000 parts. New and performance parts, collision parts, and now salvage parts. So you don't need to call your car dealer, search through special order catalogs, or go to salvage yards. AutoZone, the only stop you need for the quality parts you're looking for. Get in the zone, AutoZone. Parts, parts. How dirty boys get clean. New X shower gel. Oh, oh. South side, outside, west side, let's ride. East side, and I'm a shot town's fine. From the cater down to ZB and EP. Adam's field to the battlefield is DTB. Pay attention while the game shine like a prism. Glisten, show you how canaries can alter one's vision. Southside, outside, west side, let's ride. 
Where you at? The whole city behind us. <laughs> I guess so. Is it heavy? This is one of the new notebooks, integrated wireless, and it's so light, it's crazy. So light, it's crazy. Take delivery of a gateway notebook featuring Intel Centrino mobile technology. Order one now for just $799.99 and we'll throw in a free photo printer. Earn a college degree in the U.S. Navy. Proudly display your school colors. Navy, accelerate your life. Longer lasting. Hey, who's that? Come here, that's mine! Hey! Hey, bring it back! Gotta have sweet, gotta have new, longer-lasting, juicy fruit. Need social disaster insurance? Well, we're working on it. Progressive Auto Insurance, not what you'd expect from an insurance company. the best in baseball like 2K Sports. The number one rated sports series of 2005. Get Major League Baseball 2K5. You know, you could have sent a car. Rated E for everyone. Don't pee your pants. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please don't. And don't pee in other people's pants either. No. Welcome back to X Play. Now, hey, football fans, we know EA Sports is Madden is a juggernaut that has been the industry's dominant football game for years. But now ESPN has come along with an offer fans might not be able to refuse. A football game that's on par with Madden, but only costs twenty dollars. Does ESPN NFL 2K5 have what it takes to dethrone EA? See for yourself in our preview. The following is a special presentation. From ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Summer is here, and you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> That's right. It means only one more season until fall. Which in turn means not a damn thing. But it is around the time of year where we see a lot of the pigskin games coming out. No, not that kind of coming out. But before you put your dinero down on the normally obvious choice of the newest from the Madden franchise, you might take a gander at this game right here. ESPN NFL Football 2K5. All the rough spots in last year's presentation seem to be smoothed out. And this seems to be a picture-perfect rendition of an ESPN football presentation. Transitions are better, the play-calling screens have more info with less clutter, and even the animated Chris Berman isn't too bad. Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN... Actually, scratch that. He still gets on my nerves. The range of movement and animation seem to be measurably improved across the board. Any given action has a range of possible animations, and the seamlessness with which all are combined makes for sharply realistic crunches at the line and some of the most realistic-looking ball strips in gaming. Except for this shot. Oh my god, those are totally fake. Sega's touting the big tackles of the total control system this year. Tapping the tackle button will just wrap up the carrier and take him down with all the gentleness a 220-pound tackle can offer. Back down at the 25. But hold that sucker down and the hit can be huge. Danny gets the sack way back at that. The extra moves, beefier animations, and stunning graphics all make ESPN an attractive package. But one of the more subtle additions grace is the franchise mode. Coaches will have the chance to review extensive scouting reports and guide the team based on that data and past performances. 
Players can be sent to the film rooms to bone up on technique or to exercises that will improve stamina and speed. Vic flips into the back sideline. In celebrity challenges, you can face off against some of the most famous B-rated celebs in the biz. Hey, David Arquette here. So you're the one to beat, huh? Huh? You think you're tough? Johnson, the match of life. No question about it. This one is going to crash right into Madden and try to force a turnover. He gives up the football for the fumble. And the chances for success are pretty good. What was the key to your success? Today's win was huge. The coaches, man, it's all about the coaches. The only question is, now that X-Play is moving to L.A., what team are we supposed to root for? So, basically, when EA found out that ESPN NFL 2K5 was only going to cost $20, he started feeling the heat. How do we know? Well, for starters, EA posted a poll on its website asking gamers if the price difference would make them buy ESPN NFL over Madden. So, will we be seeing a $20 version of Madden 2005 too? I, and cheap bastards like me, can only hope so. But we, but we doubt, doubt it. it. Coming up, fantastic dialogue in Headhunter Redemption. Wasn't that overkill? No, it was just enough. Yeah, 12 eggs, two six packs, soda, seven grain bread, five lime. 12 eggs, two six packs, soda, seven yeah. grain bread, five yeah. lime. How about a six? I love you. Trying to cut down a phone time. Could you pick me up a six? Please, I want to go with a hot chef. Stay out till 12, please. Better please just this once. Yep, absolutely not. We read home by 10 10. It's going to be. 10 45. Do I hear 10? 10 30. I'll give you ground. Okay, fine. 10 it is. Hmm. Is your family wireless plan costing you a fortune? Come to T Mobile, where families talk free. Free? Free. And now get more whenever minutes than ever. 500, just 49.99. T-Mobile, get more minutes. Thanks for calling Domino's. Three people? Everyone wants something different. Oh, it's okay, sir. We get this all the time. That's why we've got our 555 deal. Three pizzas, five bucks each. <laughs> yeah, it is a great deal. You're very welcome. I love you, too. Domino's 555 deal is back. Buy three or more medium one-topping pizzas and they're all just five bucks each. Only from Domino's. Get the door. It's the 555 deal. Jim Clooney has a Snickers to keep the hunger at bay. Packed with peanuts, Snickers handles hunger so Jim can stay on the go. Rejuvenated and up for anything, he decides to head out and go for a jog. Jim runs past a pet store where he buys a bird. Laying down newspaper, he spots a help-wanted ad to be a hairstylist. While working, Jim gets an idea for a clean air car that is powered by hair clippings. The car is embraced by an environmentally conscious nation, and Jim becomes a national hero, enabling him to date supermodels. Eat a Snickers and date supermodels. Make it happen with Snickers. Kevin, or as his business card calls him, director of technology for the entire company, Kevin. See, Kevin's always had an interest in technology, but up until a few years ago, wasn't doing much with it. He was working here, wearing a little Kevin name tag. Then Kevin went to DeVrySuccess47.com. He found DeVry's free guide to today's hottest technology careers. He also found that DeVry's tech degrees were in high demand from today's leading companies. That DeVry had small classes where he'd get individual attention. And with a future in technology looking better every minute, that he could earn his associate degree in less than two years, or a bachelor's in just three. So, how do you go from a job with a Kevin name tag to a great career with your own Kevin parking space? Call or log on now to DeVrySuccess47.com for your free guide to today's hottest technology careers. DeVry, where success stories begin. Five minutes from a nervous breakdown, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Five minutes is generous. Welcome back to X-Play, the happiest place on earth. Next to an EA shareholders meeting. We have a sequel to Headhunter for the Dreamcast. Yeah, there was a Headhunter game for the Dreamcast, but it came out pretty much while Sega was reading that console, it's last right. So, we got re-released on the PS2, and now there's a sequel. Why? Because they can. Here's our preview of Headhunter Redemption for the PS2. R.E.? 
Who is that? Old Dreamcast intellectual properties never die. They just resurface on the PlayStation 2, rethought and sequelized. At least that's the story with Sega's Headhunter, a post-apocalyptic tale that will be returning this summer in the form of Headhunter Redemption. Wasn't that overkill? No, it was just an offkill. At the end of the original game, a virus had effectively wiped out great portions of civilization. 20 years later, Redemption picks up, and things haven't improved much. After the virus came a gigantic earthquake that reduced just about everything to rubble. The evil leader of the opposition, the man who walks with machines. And post-quake, a new society emerged. The privileged ones, led by President Goodman, live in towering, gleaming structures in a land simply called above. Then, below, of course, are the ruins of the old world, where the poor toil, prisoners are sent to labor for Kathy Lee, and, well, things kind of suck. Law enforcement in this good times future is the domain of the headhunters. Jack Wade, the bounty hunter from the first game, is back as an older, grizzled veteran with no fear and a ratty couch. Welcome back, Jack. The other star is a hot criminal type named Lisa, who Jack had saved from her murderous father when she was only a child. What's your name? Lisa. Early on, Jack busts her attempting a crime, but instead of throwing her into the pokey, he offers her a job as a headhunter trainee. Apparently, she's got the right stuff. Nice move. She refuses at first, but Jack persuades her by knocking her out and taking her home with him. Ultimately, Lisa agrees to play ball and starts lending a hand. Helping her along is the Iris, a souped-up scanner that gives you radar, zooming, and targeting capabilities. In addition, the Iris can detect and analyze items of interest and then helpfully explain their meaning to you. Unlike the first Headhunter, which was a combination of gunplay and stealth, Redemption is unabashedly a shoot 'em up before anything else. The battle controls are coming along fine, especially the targeting and aiming mechanism. It slowly locks onto the nearest sucker still breathing, so you can focus on important things like popping caps. This doesn't mean that all the proverbial sneakiness is eliminated, though, as a special move like slowly creeping along a wall Metal Gear style is sometimes necessary. And the same goes for scaling boxes, sliding down ladders, and peeking around corners. Mostly, though, you're gonna have to kick some ass. Sure, there are some simple puzzles to address, but Lisa has some genuine sass, and mostly you'll just be kicking around, waiting for the game to come out later this summer. It's Headhunter Redemption, it looks promising, and we're looking forward to it. I like a woman who's got balls. Oh yeah, there's some Akiva Goldsman caliber dialogue in that game. And you know, we can say that because, you know, the writing on this show is, well, you know, it's really good. In Bizarro World. I'm also totally hot there. Up next, the Japanese find nothing strange about a nearly naked robot child in Astro Boy. <laughs> made real Sunday March 20th only on Animal Planet go to dragonsarecoming.com what's holding you back the always affordable Toyota Corolla S. Now that's moving you forward. Fred, I want upgrades. More speed, better security, and I want options by Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, oh, Rudy, why me? Oh. Look, maybe I can get you some more time. No, Tuesday's fine. I'll call CDW, work out some options. <laughs> Rudy. Nobody responds like CDW. With fast answers to your technology questions, you get what you need when you need it. CDW, the right technology right away. Thanks for caring, man.
Masters of Leo Laporte's misprinted Technolololology Almanamanamanac, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Technolololology Almanamanamanac trips off the tongue. I love it. I had nothing to do with that intro. You're bad. Welcome back to X Play. Hey, do you like anime? Yes. How do you feel about anime featuring a scantily clad robot boy who lives with an older man? Kind of uncomfortable. Great! Then you're gonna love this preview of Astro Boy. I know Astro Boy is the seminal moment in anime's history. Yes, I know he's back on television. But you know what? Boys should wear shirts. Okay, little Astro right here isn't a boy. He's a robot made by this guy. But he looks like a boy and he needs to put on a shirt and some pants. I'm just uncomfortable. But this member of the Man Boy Robot Love Association doesn't have such issues. I wonder what other powers you may have. He is named Dr. Roche. He tells Astro what to do. You should stay here for a while and recharge. But you're the only one who can save Bay Area. You might be able to understand what the robots are saying. Astro, you must stop the robots. He needs to make up his mind. But his dithering is your game, because it looks like the guys behind Sonic are ready to give you a lot of activities in Astro Boy, especially beating up robots that seem to endlessly have it in for animated folk. And they're polystyrene entertainers. I have come to destroy the puppets of the human race. Oh no! Piggy! No one controls me! Yay! When we gave the game starring the boy who's gonna catch a chill a test run, we found the combat fast and easy to get into. You can punch. Use municipal properties, weaponry. Fly into things. Shoot lasers. Shoot arm cannons. And pull the cape of a little boy. But no knitting a sweater like he should do before he leaves the house. In between action sequences, there is much hand wringing about Astro's origin. Dr. Tenma is the man who tried to use you. But no one tells him to get dressed. I cannot say anything more. In addition, there are some side missions. A big one involves collecting cars and giving it to this obsessive girl. Huh? You want to see the cars I've collected? Also, you can help out people by getting their purses from dogs. I heard that this dog will bark if you call its name. If only I could talk to the dog, it might tell me. Talk to him? I just take him to Hanoi. Or showing people what you can do. I want to feel excitement. I need excitement in my life. Perhaps your wondrous powers will provide that very excitement. Can you show me your powers? That's so exciting. I'm sorry though, it wasn't as exciting as I thought. And for this reason alone, he should put on a shirt. Now while the game is very far along, we will have to wait to find out what's in for this little abduction invitation's future. Yes, we'll do that when it's released later this year. Stop it. Wear a robe. The character of Astro Boy was first introduced in 1953. Now, you'd think between then and now, he'd have put on a shirt. Mm, no, but fortunately, many of our fans, they know how to dress themselves. Ooh, good for them. Yeah, and one of them wrote to us. Oh, wow. Oh, Nick. Yes. This email is from Nick. Dear Adam and Morgan, I have heard rumors of a game for the PS2 called StarCraft Ghost. Is there really such a thing? Because I'm a really big fan of StarCraft and StarCraft Brood War for the computer. Mm. Ah, yes, you've heard rumors of a game announced two years ago. Yeah, they, uh, people know a lot about this now, but StarCraft Ghost has been delayed again. I think it's like the third time yeah. it's sort of been delayed. Yes. So, Though we can't tell you when it's gonna come out, but we can tell you it's not coming out this year. Yeah. We can also confirm, though, that it exists. Aren't and we? it has existed for years and years. Yeah, we're so helpful, aren't we? We really are. It's yeah. like that one time when I helped this guy, and he yeah, was like, thanks. Guy? Just a guy. Well, it's that guy who's not doing too well now. Oh, that's really sad. Good night. The flags of nine countries flutter as the flames of ambition burn bright because in the